Hi, I'm Michael Sherman with Hudson County TV. We're here with Esther Winter, Ward B Council Candidate. Hi, Pleasure Michael. to have you on. Thank you. All right, Esther, uh, for people in the community who don't know who you are, can you just be brief about you know who you are and why you're running for office? Uh, my name is Esther Whitner. I live in Jersey City. I moved here in 1987. I'm originally from New York. I'm married. I have three children and work in the private sector. I became involved in the local uh, politics and activism about two and a half years ago when our property taxes were going to go up over 20% on the heels of an 11% tax increase. Um, I started an insurgent campaign in Jersey City. Mm -hmm. Uh, fought the administration, uh, more so to have them examine our budget to see how they were spending our tax dollars to keep our property taxes affordable. And what would you say is the biggest issue facing Jersey City right now? We have a crime issue, uh, something that I worked on, uh, something that's very personal to me, uh, being that my house was robbed and my son was robbed, among other things. Um, I think we have a crime issue. I think uh, the streets are dirty. That's something that we can easily deal with. And um, taxes are an issue. I know that taxes, it's like, an, you know, it's a necessary evil. And however, I think that we need to examine and make certain that those tax dollars are spent wisely and that we help keep Jersey City affordable for families. Now that you know you are running for Ward B, what specifically would you, what would be a specific initiative that you would push for Ward B while being on the council? Um, Ward B, unfortunately, for the past number of years, I feel, has been lost in the fray. Uh, we had a councilman that, uh, a couple of years ago, that had to remove himself from office uh, because of the corruption scandal. Uh, we had another councilman who, for various reasons, including health issues, um, I don't think really did focus on our ward. And I think that we can see that physically and... Uh, you know, in what's going on. So there are different goals that I've uh, outlined for myself, and I've prioritized them. Uh, one would be cleaning the streets, which is something that I've worked on. Uh, how we take care of our community is how we, is a reflection of ourselves. Um, so I'd like to do something about making certain that the streets are cleaned, um, that the sidewalk curbs have been repainted, bus stops uh, curbs are repainted. They sound like small things. I think they make a difference. Um, I'd like to start working at a different level. We have we don't have a community center in Ward B. I believe it's the only board in the city that doesn't have uh, a meeting place for members of the community to congregate and talk about the things that are important to them. Mayor Healy specifically, uh, you know, praised you in his State of the City address. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you say to critics of you who say that now you're, you know, that you might be getting soft on the mayor before mm -hmm. you were tough on him, but you know now you've got a little recognition and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, you know. Maybe he might have warmed your heart. What the mayor did, uh, I think, was something that all mayors do. They recognize people when people do work. Uh, what happened um, in getting that recognition, and I didn't know that that was coming, uh, was the um, when my son was robbed in front of the house, and I had been very outspoken on crime, and when my son was robbed by two guys who said that they had a gun and actually went through his body, the administration <clears throat> uh, listened to my request to have town hall meetings and um, that's that gave the community an opportunity to meet with the mayor to meet with the police chief and I guess you know as an individual I could stand there and rail against the mayor and continue to rail against the mayor but if there's an opportunity to help uh, my community uh, for the greater good I think we need to do that. For more information about Jersey City, please visit HudsonCountyTV.com.